Welcome to the Comedy Lottery. How are we doing? I'm your host, Austin Locke. My name is Demetrius Fields, and today we're joined by the lovely Ann Yellow Furman, everybody. Oh, fuck. Am yeah, I not supposed to are. say your government name? No, you can. Okay, okay, cool. I don't know if people are trying to find you on the internet. They are. All right, no, yeah. Knocking. Make can some you... noise for Yell Zero, everybody. <laughs> Real talk, can you post photos in front of, like, street signs, or will people find you? I don't. Yeah, that I, makes sense. I wait a little bit. Yeah, that's after. good. You hear those horror stories? They're like, oh, yeah, I have. Yeah, it's crazy. Other... No, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I had somebody recognize me. I was smoking a joint on the stoop of my apartment and they were like are you Demetrius Fields I'm like not right now motherfucker like, <laughs> shit no one's ever recognized me once um well, yeah, let's get into it let's get oh wait into it. Uh, the, you want to you want to win some rules Demetrius yeah baby run it Are, down run it down okay dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the bucket for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy they're then going to be rated on a scale of one through ten by this lovely panel of judges right here uh at the end of the night the comedians with the three highest scores are going to do one final joke and then you yes you the audience is going to decide who goes home with the comedy lottery jackpot what's the comedy lottery jackpot austin i forgot to count it before i I think like 150 bucks if I had to guess. Yeah! <laughs> like 150 bucks if he had to guess. If I had to guess. It could be way more. It could be, it could be like 700 bucks. It's not, but it could be. All right. I'll count it. I'm not going to count nah, it. Nah, um, you can count it after. Com that. Coming up first is going to be the winner from last week. Yes, sir. Um, guys, uh, the hilarious Ethan Mead. You can do better than that. Make some fucking noise. This is your champion. What's up, you fucking losers? Yeah. Yep. No, that's not cool. Uh, my cousin got her first period recently. Yeah. yeah. Became a woman. That's great. Uh, she was telling me about it. She was like, Ethan was horrible. I was like, yeah, no, I, yeah, I believe it. She was like, I was getting these cramps. I was bleeding. I was bleeding so bad, I had to go to the hospital. And I was like, fucking Jesus Christ. When I was your age, my first period was social studies. <laughs> you're bleeding out of your pussy before you have that first period before. Girl, get lunch before you're gonna do all that. Seriously. Jeffrey Epstein died. That was oh man, it was crazy. Remember that? Jeffrey Epstein died. It's really true what they say. Those who smile the brightest. They are the saddest of us all. It was really I had no idea. I didn't even know he was suicidal. He seemed so happy with everything. That he had. He shouldn't have been. It was bad that he had all that stuff. <laughs> no, it was bad. I, I was confused when Jeffrey Epstein killed himself because my friend was like, oh, I can't believe this. And I was like, whose side are you on? Actually, <laughs> whose side? When we got Osama bin Laden, John Cena announced it at Monday Night Raw. Everyone seems really sad that the pedophile went to hell. I'm not sure I understand what's going on here. And they said, no, dude. He took the coward's way out. And I'm like, I don't know if that applies here. <laughs> Going to Wolf of Wall Street jail doesn't seem as bad as the gaping maw of death. I think it's pretty fucking ballsy. We're calling this guy a pussy? The guy who was getting massages from teenagers and he was like, fuck it, let's roll the dice. Tell your friends. See if they want to come through. Put something up on the bulletin board. That's not cool, man. <laughs> That's not cool. Uh, a couple of years ago, um, there was a, a deaf actor who won, who won Best Actor. Remember that for that movie Coda? Right? And he won for playing a deaf guy. Is that the best acting? Really? It's the best. That's the best we got? If he'd gone out on stage and been like, hmm? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I heard you. I would have said, okay, best actor. There you go. Guys, thank you so fucking much. Holy shit. Guys, Ethan Mead, everybody. Ethan, where's your trophy? Oh, you want, uh, is, uh, it's out there. It's out there? I'm not going to sprint to go get it yet. He brought a trophy. We didn't give it to him. I want to make that clear. He brought one <laughs> for himself. He bought his own trophy, dude. Yeah. He's got a race car on top. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that... you look like you were in the hangover if it wasn't about alcohol and instead it was about ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was about feet? That... <laughs> That's my kind of hangover. <laughs> Damn. All right. I'm trying to think of a Hunter S. Thompson pun, but I really can't think of one. Hunter you look like a sexy-ass young Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter S. Thompson, the S stands for slang and dick. There it is. Yeah. There it is, guys. Hunter slang and dick Thompson hey, up on stage right now. What's up, y'alls? Dude, that was a good thing. Hey. That's great. Your vibe has changed since you came back from Austin. Yeah. I yeah. love it. No, Thanks, I love man. It. I know. You, you get paid money to do comedy, and you come back different, bro. 
I like that I was like an underdog last week, and I'm just a huge cunt now. <laughs> act like I'm half of, half the shit. I love to come on stage and flex your wired headphones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making big boy purchases. Uh, I'm on the road in Austin, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is USB C, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm still from the future. airport. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, it's talent. okay. Don't get rid of him and change him. I love you. No, that was a great set, man. That was very funny. Oh, I right. also think that a Jeffrey Epstein killed himself, by the way. Oh, he 100% did. Right? Everyone yeah. else is crazy. No, I was suspending disbelief for humor. That <laughs> <laughs> was just really funny. Yeah, people were really trying to work work around that one. Yeah. For sure, suicide. Oh, I'm sorry. You think he did kill himself? I do, yeah. Oh, no, man. He was killed. You're... <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought about that. Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely dead ass. Do you believe in Santa Claus still? <laughs> No, I think he killed himself, actually. Yeah. Um, no, he for sure killed himself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because if, if, he, if he didn't kill himself, they would have told us. He has a black book full of people who have millions of dollars. Killing I, somebody is so cheap. Also, I have a cousin. He told me he'd do it for like 500. That's like nothing. My rent is like three bodies. Like that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, I'm a, I'm a body short this month, the landlord. <laughs> or you yeah. can just kill your landlord. I'll give you his Whoa. card afterwards. Yo, Save some money. Yo, Epstein was pretty nice to you, right? <laughs> no comment. Okay, cool. Dude, I, I was just thinking, I'm like, dude, I need a new hop. Spend my money. On that. Yeah. I'm bored. Yeah. There is an island on sale if you can spend <laughs> some yeah, of your dude. money. I don't know. All right, yo. Uh, I don't really have any notes for you, Seth. <laughs> can I, I feel... read? Can I read what you said on your, on your yeah, whiteboard? I only have one note. <laughs> she said you'd be way too powerful if you had hair. <laughs> you would. You're so what? God knew what he was doing with you, man. Yeah. <laughs> just a fat pompadour. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, off. Yeah, he nerfed your ass. When did you start balding? What age? Leave him alone. <laughs> I was going to say, no, I, I shaved my head when I was 20, and then it started growing back weird. Nah, I just came yeah. with the Coors Light. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, yeah. Yo, uh, dude, great set. To open, really funny. Uh, to open up the room, I feel like that was one of the best yeah. comeback yeah. sets that we've seen in a while. Gaping man. maw of death. You have a way with words, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks, real wordsmith. Man is a fucking poet. I'm going to yeah. give that shit an 8. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to go 8.5. I liked it a lot. Oh. I'm what you thinking, Yells? I'm also gonna go eight. Hell yeah, a little conservative. Oh, yeah, it's huh? not easy to win her over. She like me. All right, she well, make some noise for Ethan Mead, everybody. <laughs> He's on the top of the leaderboard. Ethan Mead bringing the heat. We're going back into the bucket. Who's our first bucket pull of the night? First bucket pull. We've seen him before. Give it up for Anum. <laughs> Keep it going for it till she gets to the stage. Yeah. 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 Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, is my mic on? Yes, it is. It check, is. check, check. Okay. Have you ever been? Okay, let me stop. Um, hey guys, I'm Muslim and uh, I hate bomb jokes. You know, I I think they're real duds. <laughs> yeah, no, I've had a problem because uh, when I was younger, my friend turned out to be an undercover cop. Yeah, she used to call me her little cheesecake, and <laughs> that made me blush. <laughs> so NYPD knew I was bi before I did. <laughs> yeah, I found out in the pandemic, like the rest of us. You know, as God intended. <laughs> yeah, no, I um, I, I hate bomb jokes because, like, I'll be doing, like, mundane things like driving up a highway. I'm driving up I-95, right? And uh, I see this billboard, giant-ass billboard, weapons of mass destruction. And underneath it, just a fucking cigarette. <laughs> Do you know how mad that made me? Because <laughs> I was driving at 95 miles per hour because that's what I-95 stands for. <laughs> and uh, I saw this billboard and I had a mini panic attack. <laughs> I'm like, I know... <laughs> They don't make cigarettes that big. <laughs> I know they didn't, you know, spend trillions of dollars on an endless war because Saddam Hussein was a chain smoker. <laughs> that would be <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I know I hate bomb jokes. Um, imagine seeing like a billboard that said concentration camps. Wait for it. Uh, <laughs> and then underneath it was an ad for a summer tutoring program for kids with ADHD. <laughs> Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> so I hate bomb jokes. But let me uh, let me diffuse some of this tension. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, I have a friend who's, like, really religious. She's super Muslim. Like, she doesn't drink alcohol, no pork, you know? Like, only eats strictly halal meat. But this same friend, she loves sucking dick. Like, she <laughs> will go ham on your beef jerky. She won't eat non-halal meat, but she'll put your non-halal meat in her mouth. <laughs> I won't say who this friend is. Anyways, that's my time. <laughs> Guys, give it up for her and her very, very cool friend. Her friend who seems neat. What, 
what was her Instagram handle? <laughs> 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 I'm just fucking with you, dude. Yeah, the the SIGs on a, a billboard thing. I, I grew up in L.A., and there was a big billboard in L.A. that said people who die from cigarettes every year, and it was it was a counter. Like, it would go up per I don't know how they got the news, but it would go up. But then at New Year's, everyone there was, like, a thing. People would go to the billboard and watch it reset to zero. Right. <laughs> like, people would bring their families to, like, the cigarette billboard on New Year's Eve. No, I've seen that. That's so, hilarious. yeah, uh, that reminded me of that. Is that anything for you? Yeah, totally. Think you I could know. use that? Yeah. I know for sure. Yeah, cool. Yells, what do you got? Sigs are sexy. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I, I feel like people who. Dude. Right? People who smoke them know what they're doing. Bro, they, they know what they're they doing. They know they're killing them. I know. It's just slower, you know? Uh, I, I want to say some stuff. Cheetah Girls. Hello? Hey. Uh, t- I love puns. Thank you. Come on. Uh, also, I had an idea for a tag. Yes. Uh, the the meat is fine because she's she doesn't swallow. Oh, I don't know. Sli- something, I feel like that's something. You can work yeah. with it. No, you she's still going it. to hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let her know. <laughs> something. All right. Uh, yeah, man. I thought uh, I thought it was fun. I feel like the performance was clean. Your writing was clean. It was a lot of fun little tags. I feel like that was a really good one, man. Thank I don't really have a, too many notes for you. I don't think like all of the tags on it were hidden, but you try yeah. it, and uh, you know the room is full of like a bunch of people who are nervous for staying. We <laughs> need to loosen up. Remember that. Just get loose, loose and laugh for everybody guys. else. <laughs> but no, honestly, I thought that was pretty good. Thank you. You've mentioned it. your friend who was a cop before. I'm. You bring it up, and then I want to hear. What the fuck? Like, that's crazy. No, I know. How did, don't remind me, how did, so you had a, what happened? Give me the story real quick. When I was in, so I was actually, I had just come back from med school, failed. (laughs) Um, (laughs) (laughs) I was like working, thank you so much guys, I appreciate the support. (laughs) No, I was like hanging out at college, at my alma mater at Brooklyn College while studying for uh, my master's in international relations. Anyways, not the point, but like I was basically hanging out at college because it's closer to home. Mm -hmm. So anyways. Um, I was hanging out with some of my older, fr- like younger friends who had not graduated yet, and we would always be at like different Islamic events and things like that. I was way more religious back then too, so um, I had this one friend who was a cop, and I didn't know that back then. She was just she had be crazy be, if you knew that back then, right, yeah. right, right, right. She had claimed to be a convert, and at that time it was like 2011, 2012, when like the height of like surveillance in New York City was there, and like apparently there were lots of informants. There was another one and another group of friends that had like given out like all of our. Uh, phone numbers and addresses and stuff like that to yeah, you the told cops. us about the undercover cop friend yeah, yeah. that was that this is a different guy too this is a different guy and another group of friends <laughs> God, God, do you think maybe these undercover cops are going after you because you look like the mob wife to the guy who owns <laughs> all the dunkin donuts like you know um <laughs> i don't think that <laughs> so wait, this, this guy was going 22 drum street to brooklyn college yeah no but no yeah yeah actually yes and then i didn't find out until i was married i was living in connecticut and i saw the news um on like my my sister shared an article with me and she was just like I told you this bitch was a cop like <laughs> I, had no, I had no clue I was a dumb, her, I was like, oh, her vibes no were off <laughs> yeah no I was completely delulu <laughs> would she like go out with you like she would like hang out yeah she would come to every single she was somehow at every event all the times at all the CUNYs. Like all the MSA events, like Damn. somehow always That's there. That's so funny. Can you imagine Osama bin Laden in his cave? Like, all right, step one, become admitted in Fordham University. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's crazy because that's how that's how like um, counter like uh, counterterrorism efforts have portrayed like what Muslims were doing, but that's literally what they were doing, and they were just like projecting that onto us. So, yeah. so like when you accuse someone of cheating a lot because you're doing it exactly. type shit. Yeah. yeah. That's so crazy, dude. Know, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I just got over it. Were there any, were there like, were you close? Like we weren't super close, but we would always like talk. Like whenever we did talk, it was, I'm also just very much like a closeted, like bisexual at the time. Got it. So okay. I didn't know about myself that way, but I was always just like, oh my God, why do I feel so good when she's around? Damn. She <laughs> honey trapped you, dude. She was also in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can FBI agents fuck on the job? That's yeah, crazy. They yes, they can. Sure. Yes, they can. Yeah, they can. They have really? Yes. Yeah. With your, the, the, no, your, no, 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 no. I mean, right. it just happened in California, but anyways, long story. Yeah, let's wrap, let's that, wrap, wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. If that happened to me in college and I hooked up with an FBI agent, I'd be very proud of myself. Um, what do you think it's score wise? Uh, I think you went a little bit short and one of the jokes at the end I didn't love too much, but overall I enjoyed most of it. So I'm going to go seven. Okay. Hell yeah. Seven. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go a little lower. I thought it was get, definitely getting better, but I'm going to give it a six. Okay. Yeah, higher, than higher than average. Higher than higher than average. average. Goddamn okay. right. Hey, Yellow, what do you I'm think? also going seven. I oh, like yeah. it. All right. It's hell fun. yeah. That's good. You're on the fucking leaderboard. Welcome to the leaderboard. Thank you for coming back. Who's ready for the third comic of the night? 
another regular. Guys, give it up for Shay. Yeah. Hi, what's up? So I was like hanging out at a worse spot than this in Williamsburg, and like <laughs> <laughs> this this guy started hitting on me relentlessly, like he wouldn't stop. I tried embarrassing him in front of his friends. I told him, "Yo, you're not getting any pussy tonight." Like that did not stop him. Like the only thing that made him embarrassed was like I told him he looked mad gay, and like. I, I just think it's funny, like, this straight man moved to Williamsburg, started dressing like every other straight man in Williamsburg, and, like, he didn't realize that was gay. <laughs> he, he, he put on his high-waisted pants with a belt and a tote bag, and he's like, I'm going to get a mad pussy in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm... I'm actually bi, and I grew up here in Brooklyn, and, like, people think that's supposed to be easy, but it's not, like, because I thought, like, I didn't think I could be queer. Like, I thought that shit was for hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I knew I liked girls. Like, I was fully aware of it, but, like, I was, like, I'm Jewish. Like, if I wasn't Jewish, I would be mad gay, but, like... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm finally, I finally did the second part of my autism assessment today. Whoa. Yeah, honestly, like, I know I'm autistic. Like, I just did it for the bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone here knows I'm autistic. And towards the end, she was like, she might have a hard time diagnosing me because, like, I'm an adult now and, like, she doesn't have any, like, reports from my childhood or whatever. I told her, like, I don't care. I know I'm autistic, and you're a nerd, and I'm not. I don't care. I'm not going to trust the opinion on, on, of a nerd on whether or not I'm autistic. <laughs> I told her this. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, have, I have one more bit. So I'm, I'm celibate. I'm ce How am I doing on time? Uh, you got, like, 30 more seconds. Yeah, so I'm, I'm celibate. I've been celibate, like, a year now, and... You know, celibacy is not a choice you just make once and you're celibate. Like, every morning you have to wake up and you have to keep making that decision. And, like, I want to thank all of you here because you guys are making it mad easy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Guys, give it up for Shay, everybody. <laughs> really making it clear she doesn't want to fuck any of you. <laughs> what's up? Welcome. Oh, what's up? Eva? How you doing? You want to join the the panel right here? Maybe let's okay. let Yells oh. judge this one real quick and yeah. then join. Is that cool? Yeah, just because you missed the set? Of course. N not to disrespect. Oh, anyway, yeah, cool. Sure. All right, well, guys, give it up for Shay one more time. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> God damn, that was so funny. And that was it wasn't very funny. Like, it just you just are funny. Yeah. That's all it is. Oh. Telling somebody they're just not gonna get pussy is like most people that's not gonna get a laugh. <laughs> <For some reason. laughs> the way that you said those words, everything was yeah. fucking hitting. You got off the stage off of like a big beat as well. Like that celibacy joke is a great way to get off the stage. I like what I saw. I don't really have any notes, dude. I sure. thought it was yeah, super funny. I, I I think it's funny you think you're not a hipster, but you're wearing a Sublime shirt. I thought that was funny. I didn't even know what Sublime was before I bought the shirt. I saw it that's, at Marshalls. I was like, nice colors. That's the most hipster response I've ever heard in my life. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, the first time I ever heard actual like sublime music was in here. So. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Actually, I do play that a lot. Um, yeah, this is a safe haven for ska revival, okay? We're waiting for the fourth wave. Who's with me? Um, yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. no. It's, uh, I really enjoyed it. Oh, um, I said guys with the little tote bags and the little belt, they do get pussy. <laughs> but... but I heard that from a friend. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything yeah. about that. Yeah, dude. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna. I think I. I'm gonna give that one a nine. I liked it a lot. Dude. Hell yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go eight point five. I liked it a lot as well. What are you thinking? I'm gonna go eight. You're gonna go Love eight. You. All right. Well, you're on the Shay, top. Shay, welcome. Board. And then, guys, give it up for Yells too. Yells, thank you for stepping thank in. You. Thank oh, you. Oh, Yells, do you have any plugs? Uh, oh, do I have plugs? Uh, no. I just want to say I'm gonna do the light up here, so I'm gonna light at one minute left and then yeah. at three minutes. Would you mind sitting right over there because these yeah. seats kind of. 
it gets in the way a little bit. You were right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Cool. Make some Guys, give it up for Yells one time. All right. And then welcome to the stage, our new guest host. Yo, this is Eva Evans, bro. Oh, hey, by the way, this is one of our, like, few episodes that is not live right now, so we can cut your set. Do you want to do some time for the people and let them know who you are? Yeah, you want to do, like, five seconds? You don't have to. Nah, it's, it's, really it's, it's a good crowd. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little, a little bit. Let me just get settled. I've been, I've been running. She'll right. step sure. in. She'll step well, in. Well, thank you for coming. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. I'm so sorry I'm late, y'all. No, yeah. it's okay. These I, things happen. Was, what, what were you coming for? I was filming something. Yeah, okay, that, that's valid, actually. Yeah. Thank you for making it. We appreciate you. <laughs> thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Okay, who's ready for the fourth comic of the night? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta give her the rundown of this shit. She just oh, yeah, my bad. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Wait, you're not the wait, biggest fan of the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck going on? Wait, you don't watch every episode on YouTube? Nah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't either. All right. So, yeah, comics come up on stage. We rate them one through ten. Five's average. So, okay. you know, like, you know, there's gonna be something below average. Right. Uh, <laughs> you can, like, you can he's talking about you guys out there. <laughs> the environment is a fun fun vibe uh we like to give constructive criticism to okay. people on how they can like move things around or like do little things to make their like delivery a little bit better or whatever okay. uh you also can roast the shit out of people if you want it's all fun I so you can have fun <laughs> these, are, these are new comics huh i mean there's some new some old you okay. know but uh it, it, some like really old some like some you'll be like they'll be like you haven't been doing it for 10 years and you're like oh. why have you been doing that you know what i mean ah, I heard yeah you. but most are pretty new yeah so you gotta like let these people know so that they no, stop you, showing up to you, places and making people <laughs> uncomfortable should i tell them my credentials so they know like like, yeah. Should I say my, my credits or something? Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm currently on tour with D-Ray Davis. God damn. Uh, yeah, I've been on tour with him for a year. Uh, I've, I've been on BT, VH1. God damn. I did Netflix is a joke, the God comedy damn. festival twice. Thank you. I'm headlining and producing a show for New York County Festival this year in November. Nice. What's the name of it? Huh? What's the name of it? Oh, Miss Garrett and Split. I'm going to bring put Miss Garrett and Splits on, um, on the, the fucking festival shit. And what else I got going on? Um, oh, I have a don't tell that's, that went viral. Yup. A don't tell here. Yeah. Mad viral. Very cool. Yeah, my, my, my trans bit was loved by the trans community, so I really hit a home run. That's pretty that. cool. That's Thank pretty cool. You. Yeah. Eat um, by far the most cr credited guest up here, for sure. No, for real. Absolutely. Yeah. She, listen to her more than me and Demetrius. It's kind of the vibe. <laughs> it's the shorthand, the TLDR type shit. This you know? might be her city. <laughs> yeah. Is there more? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> All right. God damn. Whole Wikipedia page. Right, Eve everybody. Thank you, y'all. Thank yeah. you. The yeah. point is, you're lo we're lucky to have her. Yes. Right, thank you for coming. You. Thank you. All right. Yes. Did you pick another I did not yet. Who's ready for the fourth comic of the night, everybody? <laughs> Wow, you're, you're so much better at comedy than Yells is. That's crazy. <laughs> Don't be mean to no, I was joking. Yells, you know I love you. Um, <laughs> guys, coming up next to the stage, give it up for Cherith Fuller. Yes. Uh, I had to take a break from porn recently because I found I was watching too much of it. Um, that's right. Women can be incels, too. It's called <laughs> feminism. Um, and I took a break from porn, and when I got back into it, I was like, okay, what did I miss? What's been out there since I've been gone? And I was just like searching around, and I found something called uh, JOI. JOI, any? Jerk off instruction. Thank you. Um, <laughs> jerk off instruction, which is essentially where typically a female performer like looks into the camera at the male viewer, uh, tells them how to jerk off, maybe when they should be jerking, like uh, you know, coming, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, fascinating. Never heard of this before. What else is out there? And then I found something called CEI, Come Eating Instruction, which is more like kink based, obviously. Um, but I was like, whatever, who, who am I to say? Um, which is essentially, you know, kink based, like after you come, she tells you how you should be ingesting the things that just came out of you, et cetera. Um, and I was thinking about it and I was like, men are so useless <laughs> and so worthless <laughs> that they can't even jerk off and eat their own cum <laughs> without a woman telling them how to do it. <laughs> Just like, well, here comes the airplane. Um, <laughs> And I was fascinated, but I was also kind of like, I feel left out. Um, so I was like, is there a, an equivalent for me? You know, is there something there for me? Um, perhaps something that a male performer makes, whatever. And I found something called masturbation encouragement. Uh, it's real, look it up. 
Um, and I was like, okay, that sounds fucking lame. And then about 30 seconds in, I was like, <laughs> you know, like, I really needed this. Um, <laughs> it's like, so hard. And it was so my hip and all day. Um, and which I, I appreciate. I, I much prefer encouragement than I got told good girl in bed recently without asking. Un- non-consensually <laughs> and I'm sure that might be nice under certain circumstances but I'm like your mom books your doctor's appointment <laughs> you do not have the validation I am seeking <laughs> okay. thank you guys Cherith give it up for her dude so you, you said it's, it's called CEI yeah you want to write it down yeah I'll, I'll remember it <laughs> Really good set. I really liked it. Thank you. The, the men can't do anything without women telling them. I, I laughed a lot at that. I thought that was very funny. Yeah. That means yeah. a lot to me. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. For my Eva, where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Um, I'm originally from Atlanta. That's where the bulk of my time has been. I did it for like eight years. Took like four years off. So now I'm just like getting back into it. Hell yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. Wait, you, got, uh, you wanted to? Yeah, go oh, ahead. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like how you came up here with confidence. You got right into it. Some people are like, oh, how you guys doing? Don't give a fuck how they doing. I don't care. Just jump right in. Unless it's like, you know, you host and you have time to, well, like, for five, it was five minutes? Three. Oh, three. Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, so I like how you just got right into it. Mm-hmm. Um, with J-O-Y? Yeah. So, like, you had asked them, like, oh, y'all know what J-O-Y is? And you put the mic towards the crowd. I feel like that opens up for people. Like, he knew what it was, so he said the right thing. But it, 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 you invite hecklers into your set. You only have but so much time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you're hosting, you can involve the crowd. But when you have a set to do, because, like, you know, I just had an SNL audition on Tuesday. You have five minutes, and you need to get to your shit. Yeah. Fuck what they got talking, like, what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Thank you. I, I didn't get it, but thank you. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, because you did it with CEI. You was like, oh, CEI is coming. You just get right into it. Fuck what they know. Mm-hmm. And then um, you got, it took 1.5 minutes for you to get, like, your first, like, real, real laugh. Okay. Try to shade that down for one minute. Only four, like, auditions. Like, if, you know, auditions, you, you got five minutes. You need, you need to come out banging, like, immediately. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So one and a half minutes is not bad. If you can shade that down, you, you'll be ready for an audition. Yeah. But I'm, I'm proud of you, and I like, I like your set. <laughs> two out of two judges are proud of you, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> two out of two. Two out of two good girls over here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, I was going to say basically the same situation, which is uh, it took a little while to get going. I think you got to try, like, try to make a joke out of the a more like a harder joke of the break from porn thing just right up top to get us like into it. The jerk off instructions. I don't know if you got interrupted. So like I don't know if there was supposed to be a joke that was there and you were like on the fly and you try to like skip it. But it seemed unnecessary because the main joke like that got the big pop was the come eating instruction, which was hilarious, by the way. I thought it was great. So I would say either like cut that part out or find a joke to add in there to make it like worth it because right now it's just making too much time for you to get to the uh, the punchline. But what I will say, great body language while you're up there. It makes watching the, the storytelling very interesting. And uh, I like the I like the masturbation encouragement as well. I thought oh, it was good. I had a question. Is, is it a guy or a girl encouraging you? In that particular video, it, which is true, um, it was a man. Although I'm sure women can also do a great job. I'm sure anyone could. I was he clothed or naked? Was it true? No, I'm trying. To, I'm looking for uh, other means of employment right now. It seems he, it seems like a real slam dunk dog. I mean, it real, that was really his kind of bread and butter. So I think he does a variety of stuff. Mm. Oh, okay. Do you think I have the voice for it? Else, pardon? Do you think I have the voice for it? They. I, Who said no? Who? Get out. <laughs> do you think you have the voice? Do you think for I have it? the voice for it? Um, is it gonna be like this voice, or do you have like kind of like? A- <laughs> 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 what? And that answers the question. Uh, <laughs> You know, you know I'm about to give you a score, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, also, real quick, when you said I took a break from porn, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't think it was watching. I thought you were doing it. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's like the sleeve that you're working on finishing. <laughs> but, uh, I definitely thought you were making the porn. No. Okay. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, if you had to give it a score, Demetrius, what would you what would you score her? Um, I think it could be punch up, but it was really entertaining. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give that one a six point five. Yeah, I definitely agree with it. It took a minute to get to the punch, but it was so like you had them like you had them dying. So I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna go seven point five. I liked it a lot. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I I agree with the six point five because um 
like you you came up there with the confidence. You're a beautiful woman. Like I you got my attention as soon as you got on the stage and just like just make them forget about the titties. They gotta hear your laughs. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like because you're beautiful. That's yeah. We passed that. You gotta be funny off top. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah guys, yeah. Cherith, give it up for her, everybody. Yes, Cherith, it's a pleasure meeting board, you. By the way, welcome to the leaderboard. Yeah, congratulations. Oh, wait, who's ready for the fifth comic of the night? We've seen him before, guys. Give it up for Evan. So, keep it, guys. Keep it going as he gets onto the stage. Yeah. What's up, guys? What's up? Uh, Sh- Shay's right. My belt is mad gay, dude. It is. <laughs> No, I'm gay. Uh, obviously, though, like, in a weird way, gun to head, I'm choosing Eva for some reason. <laughs> and I just need you guys to know, it's just because, like, gay dude, like, hot black women to gay dudes is, like, fucking kryptonite. I just need you, okay? Because, like, I'll tell you this. The reason why, like, gay men love black women, they share the dick pics, dude. They, <laughs> they do, you know? Like, white people guard that shit like it's a winning lotto ticket, which if you think about it, kind of makes sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you got it. Uh, <laughs> what else? I, ha- I have, like, confidence. Uh, people, like, if any of you are, like, struggling with your confidence, uh, the way you know you're confident is everyone will tell you, dude, <laughs> like, on a regular basis. And it's like, I think my confidence comes from being gay. But if you like think about it, do you understand how easily I could get my dick sucked at like any moment? Do you guys understand? Like, do you, like straight dudes like have to like work on themselves. I can, I also work out a lot, I get it. Uh, I get how that's alienating, I understand. <laughs> <What> <laughs> Uh, I was, I'm not on the apps anymore. I was on the apps. I, I give it up if you're in the apps. Anyone? Yeah. All right. The, the, I like liked the gay apps because like the gay apps are really like direct. You know, they like really give it to you straight because role plays hot. But uh, <laughs> no, the gay apps are different. Like the straight apps use like euphemisms. You know, like Bumble, like Birds and the Bees, Field, where you play the field. Like the gay apps, like Grinder is where you go to grind. You know, like Scruff is where you go to find Scruff. It's pretty straight. Sniff is where you go to sniff, you know? <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. I don't know. I feel like there's something like weird about like the straight apps not being as direct, you know? Like in a weird way, I just feel like, nope, that actually makes a lot of sense. It's straight in every certain way. We're fucking faggots and we love sex. Uh, I, I've had a lot of sex. The way gay people know they're really slutty is not only are you fucking random men in random places, you are fucking random men in random places and getting random STIs in random places. Let me clarify, how many of you straight guys have had gonorrhea of the throat? Uh, <laughs> not twice, but thrice, you know? <laughs> All right, thank you, that was my time. Thank you, thank you. Guys, Evan So oh, yeah. he could be getting ahead, but instead he's on the stage for you guys. That should count for something. What a sacrifice. What a sacrifice, dude, seriously. I like the, because you've done this a bunch, and you know the mean him like you a lot, so you started off by really complimenting her. That was a really good, that was good instinct, dude. Good networking. It's, it's authentic. I yeah. promise you both. <laughs> and that hurts my feelings. <laughs> no, but yeah, dude, I mean, overall, super confident, super punchy. How, Ryan, how long have you been doing it again? A year and a half. Yeah, so for, dude, for a year and a half, really, really phenomenal. Like, Thank great you. set, I, super punchy. Yeah, that's what I, no real notes, honestly. Thank you. You. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I think like we see it. You, you were the first person who ever came on the show and got a 10, you know? So I've, I've seen uh, I've seen you come on here and crush. In my humble opinion, I felt like you needed to clean that one up. I felt like everything in there was like a little new, like it's you were playing new. with the it's idea. Yeah. I get it. You know, this is like an open mic at the end of the day. But I think you did have to clean it up. I don't know if you've made yourself shaky. I think like just the presence of a, of a beautiful black woman really kind of. That's what's happening to me. I don't know. You're like, no, I can't be straight now. Dude, I've gone too all, far. I've all gone too far. Bo- <laughs> all of my boyfriend's like worst fears are gonna be validated. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but I think uh, I think yeah, you got to clean it up a little bit, find the funny, and then build off that. But you know how to do that because I've seen you. You're a technician with the standard. I just feel like it wasn't there today. I agree, also, I agree. you know, I got to roast you a little bit. You look like you fix cars, but only monster trucks. <laughs> <laughs> what it said on my grinder profile. My <laughs> turn. All right. I love the improv off top because you ain't know I was gonna be here. No. So I like that. That that um. And I like that you spoke about your belt immediately because it's like I like when people talk about themselves. 
off, off the, especially if something that we could see because it makes it, make, it puts the audience at ease. Like if someone's fat and they talk about being fat within the first thirty seconds on Beyonce, stage, it puts the audience at ease. Like all right, now we could enjoy what he got to say because he already talked about the gay ass belt. And then <laughs> <laughs> um, I love how personal your material was because that's how I am. I talk about growing up in a single mother home, growing up poor, guys I fucked with. My my material is very very personal, so I appreciated that. You know, and you shocked me at the end. You said gonorrhea three times in the throat. People not saying that to us rooms full of strangers. <laughs> like that. It, yes, it shocked me, but I, I appreciated that because I, I love you know you being vulnerable and shit like that. So thank you. Thank you. And um yeah. Oh, are we saying the numbers now? Right. Yeah, if you want to. If you want to. Oh, I gave it a seven. Seven, pretty good. The seventh, the seventh time you got gonorrhea of the throat, were you like, like, did you even have to go to the doctor, or were you just like calling in a prescription? Type <laughs> shit? No, I, uh, I went to the doctor, but I like prescribed it. Like I knew what was up. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> I was like, there's no other symptoms. It's it. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. Uh, um, I'm gonna go seven too. I liked it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little lower because I'm a hater. <laughs> Just in general, I'm gonna have to give that one a five. I felt like it was about average for everybody. You know, I fuck with you, bro. Please. I it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Evan, so give it up for him. Oh, wait, yeah, your sixth comic of the night, guys. Make some noise for Max Ryan. Yes. Flophouse, what's up? Make some noise, Flophouse. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I, I had to take a little break from comedy, about a three-week break. I got gum surgery. There's no joke there. <laughs> uh, receding gums, guys. It's not funny. Yeah. Three-week break from comedy. It sucked. Yeah. You know it's harder, though? I haven't gotten laid in over a year. Nobody claps for that? Jesus. All right. <laughs> Screw you. Yeah. reason I haven't gotten laid in over a year is because I'm trying to find love. Aww. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thanks. God, asshole. So, what is the guy got to do over here? Can a guy catch a break? I'm trying to fall in love over here. Can I? I'm trying to sing in the rain type of love. You know, I'm trying to hold hands by a lake type of love. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to fall in love. Uh, nobody cares. I'm trying to have an Adam Sandler type of rom com type of love. You know, well, you know, where the Jew marries the Christian lady type of love type of. I'm trying to. Sorry. Sorry. I'm on the dating apps. It's not helping me fall in love. You know, it's not. It's just helping me masturbate. <sighs> yeah. You know what? The thing about the dating apps, though, is that I found you can say the same five words to any girl and get them to unmatch with you. Swear to God, any five words. All you have to say is, hey, want to go on a date? <laughs> want to meet in person? <laughs> Want to do what these apps are intending us to do? No, you don't. You want to block me and report me? All right, that's fine. I, I didn't even want to fall in love anyway. I was going to look like a loser dancing in the rain. <laughs> what is that? What is that for? So I was vegan for four years in college. <laughs> well, as I learned that being vegan is very similar to being Jewish. If you tell anyone, they instantly hate you. Well, my name is Max. Thanks for listening, guys. Thank you. Hey, Max Ryan, before we, you're Jewish, right? Correct. Okay, really changes the, the tone of that last joke. <laughs> really changes the vibe. I, I'm conflicted on you, because I know way uglier, less charismatic men who are both in love and cheating, so the fact that you can't get laid is crazy to me. I, I'm trying to fall in love. So. Yeah. I think it's very clear why this man can't fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> If you, had to, if you had to run it down for him real quick. Dude, he's like, you got like straight theater dude energy. You know what I mean? That's yeah, the guys, the guys who get dude. every woman ever. Huh, do they? I mean, in high school oh, at least. They get, they get pussy. Yeah. Oh, man, do you? I guess, but he's not. <laughs> you got your gum. So wait, hold on. Yeah. You got your, your gums were fun. receding. They were receding, so they scraped gum from the roof of my mouth. They stitched it to the bottom of my can you, mouth. Can you give us a smile, like a, a no, gummy I'm smile? Allowed. I'm not You're not allowed. allowed. Okay. I'm not allowed. Yeah. Got it. That it's makes sense. bottom. I can't. Sure. He's looking for it. He's like, yeah. Does it hurt? It did. Uh, now I'm feeling my gums. Anyone else? They gave me some Valium. We listened to the Grateful Dead. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That you really should really fall in love. with me. Like, I don't know how to re like reset after hearing that, that gum surgery. That shit fucked with me. What'd you look like before? Uh, you you know, just had long teeth. He looked toothy, dog. Still Jewish. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, I feel like you, what you really needed was lip filler. 
That <laughs> fix the problem. <laughs> no way you're looking at this dude smile. You're like, no, the gums are where we need to add <laughs> volume. You fucking dude, you have no upper lip. Imagine how small the gums must have been to look small against the lips. <laughs> dude, a little plumpness on this. I'm telling you, shit would be nice. Oh Let's try that one. All right, no. you got any or uh, any what lip filler? Yeah, I, mean, I, just, I had a tumor. Dude, I mean, you're Jewish. You know a surgeon. Like, go fucking <laughs> get somebody. This guy add yeah. some shit to you. You're really giving us like like fun uncle at the dinner vibes. Hey, thanks. Yeah. I, I love the energy. I really like the energy. No, that was now a compliment. Now that I'm hearing about the, the gum shit, I feel like you could have tapped into that. You know what I'm saying? Because you yeah. move gums from one part of the mouth. You could have said your mouth got a BBL. Now rappers <laughs> trying to fuck you. Like something. Yeah. yeah like, so. Rappers want to fuck your mouth. <laughs> yeah, because you got to, you know what I'm saying? All right. No, I'm, I, it was a bad example. I'm just, I was just saying. No, I, like, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was funny. You know what a BBL is? <laughs> I've heard of it. Yeah, when they move their stomach to the butt. Oh, we take it from the stomach? Yeah, that's what I was saying, because you moved it from one end to... Well, I'm, I'm just saying, you don't have to use that one. I'm just saying oh, it was... Cool. Tap into that, you know No, you saying? should say that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> saying yeah, your right. mouth got a BBL is nuts. Know. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. How, that's how I thought. He's like, oh, move it from... I'm like, oh, it's gum's got a BBL. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But if you go, if you didn't know what a BBL was, so that's probably why it wasn't on your radar. Dude, no, you're going to have some fun Googling tonight. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Yeah. C-E-I-B-B-L. Right, right. Man, so all the these letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I like you had great energy for sure. Lee. Yeah, for real, very and, um, charming. Oh, and I like the the dating app stuff. It's very relatable. You know what I'm saying? When you said, "Oh, you want you, you're mad because I want to do the thing that this app is intended for." It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> very funny. I like that. Thanks. You look like you learned how to eat pussy from an audio book. Wait, you eat pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I have. Oh. You want to something? You want to something really funny? <laughs> huh? You want something really funny? Huh? I I actually I listened to an audio book one time on how to eat pussy. No, wait, you, you eat pussy too? Yeah. Right, it's not giving an eat pussy over here. Yeah. I'm not I learned it from a book. You look like you eat pussy. Eva, this isn't Jamaica. We're eating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just shocked. She comes first, narrated by the guy who wrote it. Isn't that crazy? Wow. <laughs> He's a bad voice. Good tips, bad voice. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. I think your energy is good. I'll give you that. Uh, I'll give you a compliment. I think when you come on stage, you're easy to like. Yeah. And that's like an important thing because you can't learn it. I never learned it. I fucking suck up there, <laughs> <laughs> You'll do not want to hang out with me after the show. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel like you got to punch this shit up, man. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the stuff uh, that you were talking about is just like, I don't know. It just seems a little, it, it's not... Uninterested. It just seemed not very unique. I hear a lot of people talking about like dating apps and like the, the not getting laid, but I didn't feel like you dove into like why that was like funny or interesting. You just kind of like told me like a thing that was kind of like happening to you. I think what she said about the gum surgery is like a super interesting thing that mm -hmm. I want to hear about. <laughs> and even the vegan for four years, I wanted to right. hear a little bit more about, but I think you got to just dive more into who you are as a, a person a little bit on stage and... I don't know. You're you're being a little bit vulnerable, but you gotta you gotta find you gotta find the funny because doing the I don't know if the accent is gonna if, if that's the one that's gonna take you on Saturday Night Live. I don't know, but you're on your way, bro. I don't know. How long you been doing it for? A uh, little over a year. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he's young in the game. Yeah. No, I mean stage presence for a year in is way more important than having jokes. Yeah. Like genuinely, like it's the hardest thing to learn. So you already fucking have that. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, and then something just be. I know it's just because of this format. So if you come back and do it again, which I hope you do, because uh, you know we're having fun here. I think uh, you told a lot of your jokes to us specifically instead of telling it to the audience. Yeah, you got to win them over and then not us. And I think that might have made a, a big difference in your set. What were you, what were you thinking? I was, you have to win them over and then also me personally. So <laughs> aim it, if you can figure that one out, that'll be cool. Aim, direct the energy here. I. I don't. It was. You were so likable and charming. Yeah. The jokes were mid. I'm going to go six. Well, at least I'm charming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you and now you get to take off stage, too. Isn't that crazy? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good joke structure stays on the stage. Um, I'm going to hit him with Because I, I, I fuck with him as a person, even though we just met 30 seconds ago. <laughs> but the, the set wasn't... Like, there, there was so much untapped. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was, I'm like, oh. Damn. If it makes you feel better, I'm going to give him a three. Okay, five. <laughs> put, me, put me down for a five. Okay, I'll put you down for a five. He didn't quite make a leader, but I hope to see you again. I hope to see you again. Thanks for coming out. Yes. Make some noise for him. But keep going, baby. Yeah, it's not easy what we're doing. All okay, right, the next comic coming to the stage, Demetrius, you want to read this one for us? It just says Austin is gay. Who put, who put that in the bucket? <laughs> who put, who that, put that, in that in the bucket? Who paid a dollar to put that in the bucket? Now Austin is gay. I'm oh, now you're yet. weak. Now, now you're, you're weak. a fucking coward. <laughs> Ethan Mead, I know it was you. Wow. Um, 
All right, we'll put your hands together right now for our, is this our seventh, <laughs> seventh comic? Seventh comic. All right, you guys got energy? We're halfway through the show. Make some noise for Danny Metz, everybody. Woo! You can do better than that. Make some fucking noise. Thank you. Come on. Yeah! Hell yeah. Guys, I was in I was in CVS this week, and uh, people they don't like CVS because everything's locked up. I like that because like that tells me something's either expensive or cool enough to steal. Like, like my mom, she got me Dove soap for sensitive skin. I thought that shit was lame until I saw it locked behind tempered glass. <laughs> I was like, should I even take this out the box? <laughs> I have an investment, but now, nah, dude, I, I was there to get laxatives and. Um, I was constipated. No, I was there to get laxatives, and dude, it pisses me off because like no one tells you how close uh, laxatives are to edibles. Because it's like you eat one, you're like, oh, I'm not feeling it. Then you eat two more, and get really scared. Okay, like that's, that's what happens. And I'm doing good though. I've been uh, I've been replying to girls' Instagram stories with a fire emoji recently, and and I have six less followers and two blocks. I've given up. You know, it's their loss, okay? I have a twin bed. And, um, <laughs> dude, when I told that to my friends, they're like, dude, aren't you worried about bringing a girl back to your room? And I was like, nah, dude, I've had sex on twin bed before. Uh, none of my sex moves required more bed, okay? <laughs> like, I can get by on a lot less bed, if I'm being honest. No, I actually like a twin. It does have its perks. Like, a, like one of them, it's like, if you do ever hook up with a girl, uh, you never have to ask her to leave. She will go. <laughs> Okay, she won't come back. Like, like recently though, there was a girl. She she left her prescription glasses at my apartment, and uh, you'd think, oh, she wants to come over again. She had a good time. Uh, turns out she'd rather not see. <laughs> okay, she did not come back. But uh, today was interesting. I had a I had a homeless guy. He came up to me. He he asked if I need chips. I can give him. I was like no, but like then he stepped forward, looked at my backpack. He's like, you really don't have any chips you can give me. I was like, how's this guy know I have chips? <laughs> so you gotta give them to him. Uh, this, is one, this is one last thing about me. Uh, I'm still measuring my penis. <laughs> you know, just like hoping I was using the wrong instrument this whole time. <laughs> like I've used a lot of shit to measure my dick. Like I've used iPhones. It, <laughs> like, like I put the phone next to my dick just like this. And see, that was really fun till iPhones started getting way too big. <laughs> That, like when the iPhone Pro Max came out, I'm like, I have to switch to Android. I can't do this. That's my time, guys. Thank you. Guys, give it up for, what was his name again? Danny Metz. Guys, give it up for Danny Metz, everybody. Oh, Bring in the fucking heat, bro. That was funny as hell. Thank You're you. funny motherfucker. Where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Uh, Westchester, like two years. Oh, wow. Two years? All right. Yeah. Good Damn. shit. You look like the guy whose accent he was doing the last set. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Dude. the accent. Yeah. yeah. It was like a, like a Jersey, Long Island thing. Okay. Does that add to what I said no, at all? Dude, I'll take that. Show some cool. respect. Sweet. He's yeah. wearing the uniform of a Ukrainian soldier. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You don't get those pants unless you see the front line. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> fucking thank Hell you. Yeah. Bro, dude. Fucking fire emojis are hilarious. Laxatives, dude. So funny. <laughs> I you yeah, fucking killed that shit seriously. Thank you. I will say we, we're getting a side view, but your hand is really far down the back of your pants during your set. Yeah, I, it's my first time being on TV. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Only on TV? No. <laughs> <laughs> Only if TV stands for um uh, uh fuck. What does TV stand for in this I situation? Would drag me into this shit. <laughs> what? Isn't it television? Yeah, but I'm saying if it's like a bad like TV stand stands for two viewers. <laughs> two viewers. <laughs> Bang, there it is. I knew there was something there. We're like a, like a set-up punchline duo. Yeah. And if you had to follow that up with something, what would you <laughs> I think I'm going to leave, dude. Uh, yeah, man, I liked you said. I thought it was really funny. I really liked the locked up at the CVS thing. Yeah. Um, I think the laxative joke, I wanted you to keep going with yes, that Yeah, so I'm going to say tag that shit up. I'm trying to. Yeah. All, the, all my new tags just bomb. So yeah. that's what I have. There's so many things you can make. But just because it bombs, you can run, keep running it because it wasn't for that crowd. I've been running it. They're bombing. <laughs> oh, 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 I thought you meant it like one time and done. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. I don't know. There's more to explore. It kind of, <laughs> no, there, yeah, there's a yeah. lot. Th- I feel like you could tap into that for real, for real. Yeah, they're both made of chocolate sometimes. I don't know. There's stuff to... I see yeah. what your issue is now that I said yeah. that. <laughs> uh, take your mom's on accident? Is that anything? Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you take it on purpose. I think the like the fire emoji could have been an opener also because it was short and it was really fucking funny and it like kind of it kind of summed up your vibe way <laughs> that was good what, what did you what did he open with do you remember um he opened with the cvs thing right yeah oh i like that no i like that because it really i feel like it summed up yeah i like that vibe a little bit all right yeah you do whatever you want you know cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I like this is this helpful and constructive for you are you learning about your set it is yeah yeah i cool. feel like you had a, a consistent flow of punchlines like yeah. it was like it was boom 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 you could have tagged it up Definitely, but you know, mm. you're only two years and you're gonna learn that. Yeah, I feel like you're great in a group chat. <laughs> I, I have a good time in there. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I seen something on TikTok shop that you might like. <laughs> they, they sell these rulers, and it's like, okay, so imagine it says that it's a full 12 inches, but it's actually 10. Oh, so you can use it to lie to women. Yeah, send me the link. I'm uh. <laughs> I'm, uh <laughs> I have an affiliate link. I, I make money on every sale, dude. Every you really? Uh, That's so funny. No, but I should now. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was great, man. No. I make. I make. I have one, but it's the opposite. It's it's twenty inches and says it's twelve, and it's to get men to kill themselves. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't want that for you either. You seem like a nice guy, dude. I mean, two years, bro. You're fucking. You're great at this shit. Nine. A nine. Nine from Austin. Whoa. Nine. Nine. Praise. Yeah. I put an 8, 8.5. 8.5. I'm going to go 8. I enjoyed it. I think. Yeah. yeah I like Welcome it. to the leaderboard. Welcome Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. And Owen, if you haven't been here before, just so you know, if you're on the leaderboard, at the end, you come up and do one minute. And then you can win money. I know we, I think we explained it. Who knows? Explained it. Explained you explained it? it? Oh, wait. Fuck me. Um, the eighth comic coming to the stage. Give it up for Zach D- Deerhart. <laughs> Zach, give it for Zach, everybody. Go ahead, Zach. Durate. Dude, Durate. Um, I, uh, I grew up homeschooled. I was homeschooled uh, kindergarten through 12th grade. <laughs> That's right, already funny. Dude, lots of times when people find that out, they, uh, when people find that out, they'll be like, dude, you're so normal for a homeschooled kid. I'm like, that was really close to an awesome compliment, you know? I'm trying to be normal for an away school kid. <laughs> Don't let him catch you saying away school. They lock onto that like a pit bull on a kid. Okay? <laughs> He's like, I'm starting to see the homeschool thing now. I'm like, shoot, that shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> um, dude, uh, another thing people do, they'll try to relate to my homeschooling sometimes, right? They'll, uh, they'll be like, dude, I was homeschooled in first and second grade, so I know exactly what you went through. And I'm like, don't say that to me. <laughs> I did 13 years, okay? You don't know shit about homeschool, right? That's stolen valor is what that is. You wouldn't envy at home. <laughs> Dude, I can make a stolen valor joke. I was in the military for seven years. So you guys are welcome for your freedom. <laughs> yes, what? No, uh, I served uh, overseas in the Middle East. It was the southeast of England, really. <laughs> it was close to London, actually. The <laughs> Same thing. Dude, I, uh... I was thinking to myself why it bothers me so bad when people try to relate to my homeschooling because they're just trying to be nice, you know? Uh, and I think it bothers me because right now I'm, uh, I'm kind of graded on a curve in everything that I do. Like if one of you guys got a DUI, your friends and family would be pretty concerned. If I get a DUI, people are impressed I was invited to a party, you know? <laughs> they're like, damn, Zach's doing pretty good for himself, you know? <laughs> Things are looking up, all right? Dude, uh, honestly, and like, it's hard to come by a hardship that people respect, you know? Last times you, you come up with some, people just don't care, right? I, uh, and if, if I allow these one and two year homeschoolers in, it's gonna water down what I've accomplished, you know? Right, the best way I can put it is like, look what happened to autism, you know? That used to mean something. <laughs> you know, you used to hear someone had autism, you'd start, you know, start talking quality of life. Now it's like, what, you can't focus? <laughs> Nobody can focus, that's the hardest thing, you know? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, you know, you're not autistic, all right? You lack self-discipline. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and I am Zach Durate, and that's my time, guys. Thank you so much. Zach Durate, everybody. What's going on? I don't know. I was getting hand signals from the back, so I was trying to figure out what that meant. I'm good? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Are okay. you good? Me, 
Okay. Okay. Thank you for the hand signals. I think he liked my set. He liked your set. <laughs> yeah, Demetrius, what are you thinking? Uh-huh. Um, I mean, like, I don't know. It felt like a little... Was that a lot of new shit in there? Uh, new shit to hear. Nice. I, I've been working on It's the newest stuff I'm working on, yeah. I think for your homeschool bit, that's important because that's like what you went through. I think that you could hide the information of you being homeschooled, possibly. Like, if you told, like, a story about school and then you being homeschooled, like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I was like, thinking that, too. Yeah, you can make something funny out of that. Like, you saw your principal making coffee in, the, in, the, in her drawers. And it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, because I was homeschooled. Like, I'm, I'm just using okay. an example. I'm not saying yeah, you got to not, not in, like, a, I, I was, I, I, I considered that, but... Growing up, people are always making like, what, was your mom hot? Or like, was your teacher hot? Was the principal doing it? Like, it's, I don't want to say it's like hack, but I thought maybe it might be. So I didn't want to get into that. There's jokes that you can There's jokes, yeah, that's, yeah. You don't okay. got to be hacky. Okay. Because we all talk about shit that we heard before, but we just have our spin on it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know. I think that uh, I think that the homeschooling thing, like, there's just room for like a lot, and a I lot. feel like maybe you're too afraid of like hacky to like explore it because I didn't feel like you were exploring. You did that shit for like seven fucking years, man. Like, I wanted- thirteen, thirteen, yeah, thirteen, <laughs> 13. Military, military for seven, seven years. yeah, seven, right. yeah. A lot of you're talking there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, fucking no, no, no. I'm just, yeah, I'm getting homeschooled right now, but nice. right. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, man. I don't know. I didn't feel like the military joke. Also, I didn't feel like it, it had much depth or legs to it. I, like I get, uh, I don't know. I get like the idea of you people think that you go went off into the military, but I don't know. I feel like it could have hit harder a little bit. Or was it? I Were you? I feel like the military thing for me was that you dropped like a crazy like you're seven years of military. I know like that, that's you gotta I, have some crazy stories about that. I, I've actually gotten that a lot that like I don't look old enough to have done seven years. People tell me they're like you don't look old enough to have done seven. I was years thinking that anything, too, yeah. But it's it's true. Yeah, but I mean, I, when you bring that up, it feels like there was. I mean, I don't know what experience you have, but it feels like with seven years of that, there's something more interesting than like a Middle East pun that you can tell us yeah. about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like the thing that I took away from this was that you have had like, a very interesting life and you have had like some very interesting experiences and like I want to hear more about it you know what I mean like yeah. it feels like you're bringing up a thing and then it feels like the realness of like I I don't fucking know what homeschooling is like yeah. was it were you religious or your parents like do, was it a commune you know what I mean like yeah. it feels like the truth of the experiences will really like pull and I know it's kind of hacky to you because it's like your life and you know it's like obvious to you yeah. but we have no fucking idea about it if that okay. makes any sense yeah I, honestly it's been really that's like the new thing I'm trying to do is like really talk about like personal stuff. Yeah. And it's so hard. It's hard. It, it sucks. Relatable. It really sucks. But, but I it, get it'll it. be worth it though. I'm yeah. hoping so. Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll separate you from having the same shit somebody else says. Cause mm-hmm. not everyone, barely anyone was homeschooled. You know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. a common thing for real, for real. Yeah. Bro, I wish I was homeschooled for 13 years. I'd have, so, I'd have like 10 minutes on yeah, that dude, shit. You're you know that's a magician. You're yeah. going to be a sick ass teacher. Yeah, for also, real. Also, the autism can't focus thing. There's got to be at least six autistic people. <laughs> is, is that a symptom? The, that's what I was thinking. Maybe eye contact? I was confused when you said autism. So, so, like, I'm not trying to make fun of, like, actual autistic people. I'm making fun. You know, everyone's these days is like, I'm autistic. It's like, uh, yeah. it's like you just can't focus. You know, it's like, just shut up. Yeah, but I think ADHD when you say that. So then I'm just like, this guy's wrong. Okay, and now so I'm like think of a d- different like weird symptom that people are coming. Well, maybe an actual symptom of of autism that everyone. I'm has. not trying to make fun of autism. I'm trying to make fun of the people who are like self diagnosing. Right, with right, right. But they do that because they think they have a symptom. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not crazy, right? Why are you getting heckled at the Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But also, you. How long have you been doing it again? Uh, six months. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So yeah. Oh. No. Okay. See. So yeah. Yeah. All right. No, the fact that you're like. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like it feels like you know it, it, it's gonna take a second, but it feels like you're definitely headed in the right direction. Like if this feels like a way stronger base than you had last time you came up here. Where you from? Ohio. All right. Damn. You was homeschooled in Ohio. Yeah. Damn. That's right. Damn. Yeah, saying. right? Tap, tap into that. That's the worst house to be home. <laughs> There's no other house for like three miles. That's yeah. fucking tough, dude. How often do you see like other kids your age growing up? Like realistically? Uh, I mean, every day I got nine siblings. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, talk about that shit. Did you have... Never mind. Uh, I mean, yeah. You got three... It's three minutes. I'm just... Nine, yeah, and that makes sense too. But that is crazy. 
There's a lot of interesting stuff about you. Yeah, yeah for real. I'm yeah. intrigued. I, yeah. I got to keep uh, hitting the book. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. You're right, well, welcome to comedy. You're only six months in. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. I don't know. I, I feel like I got a, a fun roast to try to reset the room. Yeah, yeah let's hear it. Nah, never mind. I can, <laughs> I can feel them pulling back. They don't want to hear whatever Wait, I, mean, I have to say is about it. Too them. easy? It's probably, too, it's probably easy. too easy. Demetrius, oh, no. say the roast. This is the roast with this. No, it's not going to be good. Oh, anyway, fine. No, you what's your name? Mark? <laughs> no, there was a mark that, was, that went up there, right? Zach. Zach. Zach same yeah. shit. No, I'm joking. Same shit. I'm, no, yeah. I'm joking. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking same with you. Same shit. <laughs> if you had to give, if you had to give Zach Mark a score, what would you give him? Uh now that I know he's six months in, um, I, I wrote a five. You can give me the five. Don't curve it. All right. Don't curve it. I'm gonna curve it a little. Six months is brand yeah, cause new. Yeah, because you a newborn baby. Because like, <laughs> yeah. no, for real, like in comedy, we say how many years you've been in is how many how old you are. How many years you've been doing I'm it? I'm a nine year old. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, exactly. I'm in the Six grade. months. Yeah, yeah you a whole crazy. infant. So yeah. yeah. You do well. For real. Thank you. I appreciate that. It yeah. sucks you were homeschooled. You would have killed it in marching band. <laughs> you so much marching band pussy, bro. I could see it. The strong ass neck veins. If there was a trumpet attached to that yeah, shit. Right. And, then, oh, and yeah. then you could have curved off to a ska band and won my heart, bro. Oh, That'd be crazy. Drowning in it. Drowning in it. <laughs> drowning in it. <laughs> bro. These feel like public school references. I don't know anything you guys are talking about. <laughs> oh, it's all right. You would have been hooking up with girls with septum piercings, bro, is what we're saying. Fuck. Yeah, it would have been cool. I'm going to give that one a five. I'm going to go six. Yeah, I'm five. All right, five. All Thank right, you. Guys, guys give it up for Zach. Yeah, keep doing yes, it. Yes, Zach. Please Respect. keep coming back. Genuinely, I enjoy Wait, seeing God, you damn, here. Wait, God damn, how many more we got in this bitch? Oh, God damn, we doing everybody in here? No, 12. Oh. We do 12 people. We're on nine right all now, right. so there's three more. All right. Dude, you, I showed saw her. Up, you showed up at seven, <laughs> and we're on nine. No, like, no. damn. <laughs> Yo, I, I looked at here, I'm like, oh, nah, I'm going to go ahead and tap yeah, out. Yeah, we do three minutes of whatever, 50. Wow, that's wild. What are you doing tomorrow? I hope it's free. What's tomorrow? I can't think that far. Comedy lottery is what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, oh, wait, who's ready for comic number nine, everyone? <laughs> Guys, give it up for Mason Boudry. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my name is Mason, like the jar. Um, <laughs> awesome. Um, I work with this girl. She has a very prominent semicolon tattoo. If you're not familiar, it uh, represents that person's struggles with mental health and surviving attempted suicides, yada, yada, yada. And it's crazy because sometimes she'll be talking to me and the way she speaks to me makes me want to kill myself. Um, I'm like, is this ironic on purpose? Or it's crazy. Just so mean and condescending. Uh, speaking of wanting to die, I'm in the middle of moving to my second apartment in New York, um, which is listed as like one of the top stressors after death of a loved one and uh, divorce. So it's like, I'm kind of a hero, you know? Um, the reason why I'm moving within a year, uh, you might be able to guess, is because my roommate is evicting me. Okay, yeah, no, no support there, cool. Um, yeah, she said she has a friend in crisis and she's just giving away my room, which is pretty cool and convenient that her crisis lasts 30 days. Um, but I shouldn't be surprised, this is the same roommate who several months into me living there instituted some rules, one of which was absolutely no sex in the apartment when anybody else is home. So I'm like, crazy, you're prohibiting me from fucking and then you're gonna turn around and fuck me like this? Like, that's <laughs> wild. Uh, sounds like you're jealous? Let's talk about that, girly. Um, yeah, it, it didn't end well for her. Also, like, it clearly, she doesn't want roommates, right? No one does, but here's a tip. Don't be poor, you know? <laughs> uh, like, and last I checked, uh, I'm subsidizing your rent and I've signed nothing, okay? You're playing a very dangerous game of chicken. Um, I hope you're prepared to get your life ruined by a squatter. Um, no, but it's fine. We're all, we're all good. Um, and I won't be killing myself anyway because I'm in therapy. Claps for self-improvement. Thank you so much. I'm killing it. Uh, my therapist did say that I am her favorite client. Uh, so all those other depressed fucks can stay losers. You know what I mean? Um, and my mom and my two older sisters are included in that list. Uh, and you might think, like, what an ethical minefield, but you don't know how good it feels uh, to have your therapist confirm that, like, you're right. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's getting the story from four different angles, and she likes you the best. That's crazy. Um, I'm getting too comfortable with her, though. Um, recently, she was like, things are going well. Like, is there anything going wrong? And I was like, bitch, I don't know. I am getting evicted, you know? And then I was like, whoa, I'm sorry. I did not mean to say bitch, you know? 
But to be fair, she also dropped the N-word in a session a few weeks before that. She's a black woman. She can do that. Uh, don't worry. Um, I also hopped a turnstile in front of her because we get coffee in the park. It's super cute. Um, and then a cop walked up, like an inflated hall monitor. And she stepped in. She was like, officer, I'm so sorry. This is my client. I'm his therapist. We are working on his flagrant and compulsive disdain for authority. And then as we were walking, she got me out of the ticket. So it's like, you took $200, but you put $100 back in. Thank you. Um, and as we were walking away, she was like, you know, fuck them pigs. And I was like, thank you, Shannon. Um, and that's all I really wanted to say. Thanks so much. Mason, making me really scared he was going to say the N-word in that last sentence. Am I the only one? I would never. <laughs> really thought he was about a quote. I'm at you. I'm like, yeah. are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was fucking ready. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. Oh, yeah. Remind, uh, remind, I guess, where you're from, how long you've been doing it? Uh, I'm from Washington, D.C. I moved to New York at the end of October, and uh, I started in February, so, like, you know, all told, like, a few months. Okay. Nice. Well, yeah. welcome to comedy. Welcome to Thanks New York. So yeah. Feels good. I like your voice. Thank you. I, like, I feel like you have a voice I can listen to. I was a trained classical singer. But, yeah, wow. you, yeah, yeah. I can see your voice is an instrument. I like that. Thank you. Can you give us just a little? God, taste? I was hoping you were gonna. Oh ask my that. god! You, you don't I, have to. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. You kept me smiling from beginning to end. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Can you and I love the fucking. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I? No, no, no. Can you? Do you know any Keisha Cole songs? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, damn uh, it. I don't. <laughs> Jasmine Sullivan. Damn. Chapel Roan. <laughs> Age of T T. No, not that one. Do a fucking run, brother. Like I want to hear a belt. A belt. Um, it's okay. You don't got it. Don't yeah. You? Don't you hate when people ask you to tell a joke? <laughs> He's classically trained. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, Do some musical theater. Uh, huh? Be, I don't know. Well, I'll sing for you one day. All right. Yes. You've done it oh, that sound, oh, okay. That sounds like something else, though. That sounds like something yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm eavesdropping on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like walking one in an alley just singing at each other. <laughs> right. Damn, it's crazy. I didn't, your therapist got you out of a ticket? That doesn't feel right to me. That feels, oh, it that, feels good to no, me. No, that feels good. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Right. She can be like, hey, he did something illegal, but I'm a therapist. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was, um, I don't know, it's pretty funny. Overall, dude, you've had our attention. I thought you, really good bits in there for seven months. Very good. Yeah, I, I, I was just a, not confused, but like, was there like a reason for mentioning that she said the N-word? Not, not... No, that we're getting comfortable with each other. Oh, okay. You know, she had never said that in a session before. Sorry. So, right. yeah, so she was right. like, oh my God, I'm so sorry I dropped the N-word. In oh, room. got you, got you, yeah. got you. All right. And you can also give an example of something you did to that was that was like boundary crossing. You know, oh, so that would yeah. be funny. Like, no, I called her a bitch. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, okay. Bitch, I am getting evicted. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Something funnier then. Cause I don't... Something funnier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If my black Good therapist note. had the other word around me, I would tell everybody about it. I would. Yeah, really I was like, I'm, I was like no, I'd be so proud. I'm honored. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did she call you the N word? No, she was talking about her uncles. Who <laughs> oh. Were, who were also faggots? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I can say that word. We know. Some boys get confused. <laughs> Nobody was confused. <laughs> no, 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 that they can say it. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to go. Uh, let's dive into it. I think for your set, you're, you're talking too fast. Always. And you're operating at this like line when you're talking where I think when you say things you say some crazy shit in your story that's really interesting you had us like captivated with that but if you enunciated that a little bit more and kind of sat on those beats a little bit more I feel like there's a lot more room for laughter that you're kind of just talking over yep and then you know Thank that you. comes with time but you gotta yeah. just space it out Fucking let those jokes go because there was a lot of jokes in there that were really funny that I feel mm -hmm. like we, you just kept it pushing so we didn't really have time to like laugh at it. Right. So as far right. as talking fast, I talk fast too. So right. I, I get it. I if don't. That, if that's how you talk, that's how you... This well, is how I talk. You know what I'm saying? So people, people, will keep, people who are for you in the audience, they will keep up. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't always got to cater to like... They slow it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but, but Little Wayne say I ain't talking fast. You just listening slow. That's it. Period. Facts. Um... But yeah, so I I, I I I I'm excited to see the kind of comic you grow into. Thank you. Yeah. Huh? We doing the numbers yeah. now? Or? Yeah. What do you What do you got? I'm gonna hit him with the seven because I fuck uh, with him. I was gonna say seven too. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go six. Amazing. Thank Amazing. you so much. All right, make some noise for Mason. What was your name, Mason? Mason. Mason like the jar. Nice yeah. meeting you, Mason. Guys, give it up for Mason like the jar. Who's ready for the tenth <laughs> comic of the night? <laughs> I think he's he's won the lottery before. Guys, give it up for John Alcabez. Guys, make more noise for him. Come on. What? 
What's up? It's good to be here. Um, I'm going through a breakup right now, and I'm revisiting the dating apps begrudgingly. They're not good. They're bad. They, I, it, there should just be two. It should just be Tinder for sex and Hinge for relationships. But there's all these other ones. There's, like, Field, which is also for, it's for people who want to fuck but want it to be an act of, like, political revolution. <laughs> when they do, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's for, like, kink people, I guess. Which, that's fine. Nothing wrong with kink people. I mean, there's plenty wrong with them, but <laughs> they're not hurting anyone who doesn't want to be hurt. I just, I think kink people are a little difficult because it's like, they can never just come, these kink people, you know? <laughs> there's got to be a special reason they're coming. They're like method actors. <laughs> they're like, well, well, why am I coming? You know? <laughs> What's the motivation here? What's, What's driving me to bust? <laughs> Oh, I'm just supposed to not because you're sucking my dick? Hasn't that story been told a thousand times? <laughs> it's not that interesting. No, I don't know. I don't want to, like, kink shame, you know? I don't want to start beef with the BDSM community. They have all the whips. That wouldn't be, <laughs> that wouldn't be smart. I just, I, it kind of gets over-intellectualized, I think. Like, something you'll see a lot on, on field, like, from, specifically from, like, straight women that are more on the submissive side, is they'll say, like, well, you know, in my day-to-day -day life, I'm so in control, you know, I have this high-powered job, I'm always being asked to make decisions, so in my sex life, it's nice to let someone else take control. And that's like a compelling, like, interesting narrative that makes us all go like, huh, that's like a smart person saying that. You don't really hear the yin to that yang vocalized a whole lot, you know? You don't hear a lot of dudes out loud being like, yeah, you know, in my day-to-day -day life, I'm kind of like a huge fucking loser. Um, <laughs> not being called upon to make a lot of decisions. Um, don't have a job, so... Sometimes it can be really nice to uh, take control of another person's body for a while. <laughs> like, no, dude, you have to... You have to go away. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't have a lot of money, it's true. I, uh... <laughs> I hop the turnstile. Do you guys think hopping the turnstile is stealing? No. No, me neither. I think it's jumping. Right? I think it's crazy that someone would see you go like this and be like, hey, give that back. That's not yours. <laughs> you turn that at once. I hopped the turnstile the other day and this lady came up to me and she was like, why do you think you should just get to ride the train without contributing anything? And I was like, without contributing anything, I just did a cool trick for everyone. <laughs> She was like, well, I don't think you're setting a very good example for my son here. She like pointed at her kid. She's like, obviously your son should not follow my example. He should go under, you know? He's small, <laughs> why would he? Um, all right, that's my time, thanks guys. Guys, John Alcabez. <laughs> Let him hear it. You're funny, I'll be right back. Where, where, are, you, where are you going? Don't worry about me, baby. Do we wait? Oh, bitch outside. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. Um, oh, I thought he went outside, all right. No. Are we good? Can we talk? Should we wait for you? Who the fuck bumped the camera and made Demetrius do work? John, that was a great set. I really enjoyed I it. I really enjoyed it. How long have you been doing it? Um, 10 years. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Yeah. No, yeah. I saw everyone saying three months, and I was like, oh, I got to do well now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fucking did. You killed that shit. Where you dude. from? You. Uh, San Francisco. Okay. I really enjoyed just that. You Thank funny you. as fuck. Thank you yeah. very much. I wish I could have enjoyed it more because I noticed the fucking camera fucked up and I was like, damn it, they're laughing so hard, but yeah, it's not vertical. It's so, you guys don't understand my stress. Uh, I miss I, Noah so much. Um, me too. Yeah, it was uh, it was great though. It was great despite the stress that I had in my heart that the camera, like my thousand so dollar camera, was gonna that. fall over. Yeah. Yeah, oh my right? god! But it's not about my camera; it's about you. Yeah. Uh, oh, you were. It was. Like, it's like your expensive piece of equipment. I thought you were just worried about the shot getting fucked up. <laughs> it's your nice. Yeah, I just don't camera. want it to fall. No, that down. makes sense. Okay, continue. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, dude, very funny though. Yeah. Very funny. When you first came up on here, I'm like, oh, another guy talking about dating apps. Yeah. This is gonna fucking suck ass, and then it didn't. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing. I thought it was uh, it was great to talk at the saying I'm a huge fucking loser was one of the funniest things that I've heard tonight. No, and no. the jumping over the subway turnstile is fucking hilarious. Yeah, nice for real. Though. Honestly, no, no, it's really funny. Yeah, no, you you do look like the kind of guy that is on field, so that made sense to me a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's fully vibe rap here, saying, dude. I mean, seriously, funny as funny as yeah, the the yin to the yang joke. It's one of those things that like this the submissive person who's like a high power thing. Like that's that's something that we all know about in the fact that you're able to find a joke in something that we all know is true is like that no that I haven't heard before is very cool. 
Thank you. Yeah. No, I enjoyed it from beginning to end. I, I again, when you came up with the date and shit, I'm like, ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. But I also have like a date in that bit that you know people think is gonna go one way and it was the other. So I really appreciated that. But yeah, you ten years in, you got it. Yeah, for real. I ain't, dude, got, I ain't got shit to tell you. You got it. Yeah, for real. Uh, I'm gonna give you a nine. Yeah, I said I said nine too. Gonna go with a nine. All right, damn, that's quick. Gonna get him out of here. I'm gonna also go nine. I thought that shit was really funny. Yeah. John, welcome to the leaderboard. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you for that. Prepare your minute for the end. Um, eleventh comic of the night. We got two more bucket pulls. Who's ready? Yeah. Eleventh comic. Uh, give it up for Riley Suarez. You're probably expecting a high Hispanic chick. Uh, with the name Riley Suarez, not Paul Wall's forbidden love child with Nacho Libre. I don't know. I didn't. I chose this outfit knowing that uh, the kind of schoolies is crazy out here. <laughs> um, they always say if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough, and God damn it, I must be concrete. <laughs> Uh, because uh, I tore my hamstring a couple months ago doing the fucking splits. <laughs> And uh, I full sent that shit. Full sent myself to the hospital. Fucking shit. I had to get surgery, right? And uh, I think my anesthesiologist might have been Mike Tyson uh, because all I heard before I went under was, go to sleep, big boy, go to sleep. And the bam, I was like, oh shit. I woke up, I was missing an ear and I had a dove in my hand. I was like, what the fuck? And there was a car that said, get well soon. Written that way. With a, not an S, a TH. It was fucking crazy. I was like, what the fuck? It was always stupid. And people always ask dumbass questions because the surgery's right here. You know, they always ask, oh, how, so what does a scar look like? I don't know, Jessica. You fucking tell me. What the fuck? I can't. Ow. I actually just cracked my back. Um, another thing about me is uh, I am bisexual and autistic. Yeah. One guy. One guy, that's all you need. <laughs> I'm single, one, one hand, motherfucker, I don't, I don't have a small dick, no. That's not what I was, that's not what I was attributing it to. Some one hand, I'm like, no, no, just shut up. Right. The reason for me is also involving my right. <laughs> my left and right are beefing because the right hand's taking too much of the fun because I never felt that feeling before of another hand. I don't know, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> that was just off the top bullshit. <laughs> oh man. I'm, I'm Cuban and Dominican, right? I'm, I, I get hate crime by my family. Uh, my dad, uh, my biological father, he's Cuban, and um, he likes to shit on me for being Dominican, and I just have to tell him, my brother in Christ, you fucked my mom. <laughs> Not my fault, nine months later, oh, fuck me. Uh, not my fault, nine months later, I came out, I just ruined the whole fucking bit. <laughs> I, I, that ruined the whole fucking bit. Usually I'll like power through, that's embarrassing. I have bad knees. That's how my dad feels when he looks at me. Just being queer and autistic and Dominican. It's not my fucking fault, man. You fucking... I came out nine months later, you know, I didn't come out with a Fidel Castro beard and a Sammy Sosa jersey like que lo que como pinga. <laughs> fucking bitches. All right, that's my time. Thank you very much. I fucking... Guys, Riley hate. Suarez. <laughs> you I, hate, I hate that shit. That shit was... Riley, it was really funny to watch you start a, a very sound premise and then proceed to, like, heckle yourself out of it. Oh, oh, listen, man. <laughs> I am my own worst enemy. And I think that we all saw that live no, in action. I'm my own, no, no one can hurt me more than I've hurt myself. And I no, don't doubt that in the slightest. I don't know, dude. You can talk to my therapist. <laughs> There's a video of him <laughs> fighting a guy on the internet and equally knocked your ass out. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? I, I, they, you don't know? I got up like four fucking times. <laughs> I got up like he, he knocked, he got knocked down, down five times. Three times. <laughs> I got up four, and after the fourth time, the guy who was like managing the shit was like, "You need to stop." And I'm like, "No, <laughs> I must keep going for the pride." It's like, "What pride, man? You you're gonna was, die." I'm he like, was like this before the fight, by the way. Dude, the fight didn't change him. <laughs> you're bisexual in New York. You don't need to have that pride. That's <laughs> much healthier. 
<laughs> you don't got to keep getting knocked out all the time, but we don't. Have to I only did that. it one time. Three times. And, um, <laughs> I only did it. I only did that fight one time. I, I've I've gotten concussions before, but I think I just ruined my mental health. Like I just ruined my brain. Mm-hmm. I can feel it deteriorating moment by moment. I used to play football, uh, so. <laughs> I stopped doing that because I I got more brain damage just like jerking off while choking myself out, you know. <laughs> no, I'm, that's a bit. I'm there, there are two wolves inside of you. One has good joke structure, and the other one hates that. <laughs> I do it's have. Very, it's very funny to imagine you just pulling on your Cuban link chain, like. Ugh. <laughs> it's called up. BPD, son. <laughs> it's called borderline personality. It's called CT. It's a whole lot of. I got going BPD, on. CTE, MDD, fucking Torn GSD, booty. fucking. And we're googling CEI later. What's up, dogs? <laughs> And then there's a part of me that's like ICE, you know, fucking yeah. immigration. Oh, I thought you were icing your leg. Okay, yeah, uh, I got it. Riley, that set was a mess. Let's be honest here. You don't think I knew it <laughs> when I told the it, first joke, and we I saw you know gone. it. Yeah, I, I, there was a, there's a moment. If you, if you watch the tape, there's a moment you can see in my eyes where I'm like, well, I'm already here. Might as well. Yeah. Just it was going come. well first. That's what I was gonna say. I literally no. wrote good opener while I while you I was writing that on the thing. You uh, no, I I, wow. I fucking I fucking. Uh, there was a whole lot of things. Big man, small stage. I mean, I'm not Chris Farley over here. I, I don't know. It feels like uh, you, so the, the, you stumbled a little bit up top and you kind of let it get to you a little bit. You know what I mean? Like you could like, we didn't, I didn't even notice the, the ending couple of jokes were hitting and then you kept like interrupting yourself a little bit. And it feels like if you stumble a little bit up top, just reset and go back to what you're doing. Oh, my brain won't let me do that. Got it. Never mind that. No, I can, I'm my own worst enemy. If I'm in a conversation with somebody and I say, like if something's said, or if I stumble, I will forget it. Every, I got ADHD too. I got ADHD and autism. I got AD4K. All right. I got, it's not all, I don't like when people say ADHD. No, it's AD4K. Don't add the letters. Just change the definition. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about right no, now. No, you know, aut- autism and ADHD people go ADHD because of the AU. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, bro, AD4K, it's right there. Don't add an extra two letters. That's not on my For You page. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 84K, bro. Well, I'm sorry that I'll fucking, I'm mentally ill, dog. Get a hot girl to do a fun facing video and then we'll all hear about it. <laughs> doing what? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I, I call your mom. Nice. <laughs> My mom is beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was fucked up. No, it's okay. She's a queen. I don't know, man. You're a wild card. Cause you're a wild card. <laughs> sometimes when you like, because you're very in your head, but sometimes it pays off a yeah. little bit. Like you reacting to him and saying one guy is all you need was a very was funny. So funny. Yeah. It was very funny. But also you being in your head fucked, uh, fucked your whole, you know. If I'm in my head, I'm fucked. I, I have to have an out of body. I have to disassociate because then it goes te- if I'm in my head shit's going wrong I was you're very charismatic and you're very good at delivering the stuff and it feels like if you either lean into the like crazy side or the other side it would hit but it feels like the fact that you're kind of mixing the both of them it's getting in each other's way I think what he needs is fame I think <laughs> yeah that'll fix him for sure make him the most famous guy <laughs> Man, I got dreams it. I got dreams and aspirations I want the, hell yes I want the Viola Davis money I want to get the EGOT but you're uh, <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> wait 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 yeah. <laughs> your idol is Viola Davis I want the she got the EGOT I want my, uh, Viola Davis is that's, amazing. Not, that's, a, that's a good yeah no I'm not saying it's not good that, but if you had to that. guess who I his idol was movie. you would go Viola Davis <laughs> no but for the no, EGOT for that yeah, yeah, I, I love that I love no, that no but for the specific type of thing I want that like sure. EGOT every time I think of EGOT yeah. but my goal is to get the Tonys last I want to go in order. <laughs> Tony's last, kill myself on the stage of the Tony's, make it the most exciting Tony's ever. Because oh nothing's ever happened at the Tony's that's like, wow. They'll televise it finally. Yeah, they'll televise it. I <laughs> that would be so fucking lit. <laughs> well, I didn't even write shit down because I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel yeah, 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 no, you know what? I, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's not evil. No, no, it's okay. Uh, no, no. Well, to be honest, I've, I'm more comfortable with you than all these other white motherfuckers in this room. Uh, right, I know. I love that. I love that. <laughs> oh, I love how oh, you guys got. Oh, you know, oh, yeah, you we know. all we figured out white pride right now, dog. Let's go with it. Uh, no, Let's keep no, that energy. No, 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 because no. because no. No, no, Demetrius, you know the same feeling. I get uncomfortable on the train around white women. I do. I, right? You know that I, feeling. When they I get nervous. Why? You, you, know, you, you don't like when white women? I don't like when white women. I don't like when white women. I'm talking about white women. No, if I'm by myself. I don't. I don't. 
<laughs> if I'm by myself and there's a, there's a random group of white, I'm going to the other fucking train. I don't give a fuck. I'm three years clean on white pussy. I gave okay, it up three years ago. Okay, look at you. Look at or, God. Or, look at God. Uh, or did it give you up? Let's be honest. Right. <laughs> no, let's, let's, let's wrap up this Riley set real quick. But yeah. congratulations. I think you can get the he got, <laughs> oh, no. by the way, you know. Oh, I mean, oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. No, no, oh, no. no. You already he don't got mental health. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really funny. It was. I, kind of I got. Funny. I got. Uh, it's fifty. It's always fifty fifty. One day it's good. One day it's today. <laughs> today was a fuck day. Today, no, 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 no. Can I just today was a. Fu I lost one of my earbuds. I I got oh wireless. God, I lost one of them. Is. My day has been ruined. I lost it on the fucking train. Under my seat. Okay, I'm giving Riley a sex. What are you guys giving? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, man. Sorry. Shit. No, I'm no, sorry. We, we, have, we, have to, we have more stuff to do. You know You know. I enjoy hearing you talk. Six. Keep going. <laughs> Dude, he, he was about to fight your ass. I know, so that's why we're moving on. Dude, he's dressed no. like he's going to fight somebody on a carnival cruise. Like, <laughs> <laughs> why, are you, why are you dressed like poor people on vacation? Why? <laughs> Right. This is a very nice shirt. Right? It is a nice shirt. It is a nice shirt. It's a nice shirt. All right, it is hot, so I want to wear shorts and show off my fucking legs. All right, no, as you should. It looks good. good. It's cool. Yeah, I respect it, dude. All right, chill out. I said it looks good. It yeah. does look good. It's yeah, a good shirt. Good. All yeah. right, yeah. all right. Are we, good? Are we really gonna give a number? I feel like yeah, we're gonna give a number. We yeah. You don't have to. You can abstain. Are you afraid? Nah, I just feel like it wasn't even a set. So what was <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 no shame. No, 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 no shame. No, no, I, I feel like you was. No, I feel like you was no, talking you're, out loud. You're and right. You, you are right. <laughs> yeah. that, I don't know what. The, yeah, I feel I'm like we can't grade that. Myself. I feel like we can't grade that. Bro, we don't have to. Give me a zero. That shit was trash. Yeah, we can't grade that. That wasn't. That, he was just talking shit and fell off the stage. I fucking. I almost fell. I got jumper's knee. That shit hurt when my foot landed on the floor. Are you okay? Floor, <laughs> <laughs> Internally or externally? Those are two different questions. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think there's notes to be given. I think with your Mike Tyson bit, you didn't fully lean into the impression because I know you can do the impression. Like I've heard you do the impression. I felt like you like eased off the gas on what that was. And it kind of, like, I don't know. I feel like you can do the impression a little bit better and you kind of got in your head afterwards. So I would say lean more Mike Tyson-y if you're going to do that bit. Okay, yeah, sure. I really like the uh, get better soon. <laughs> I like that. That was really funny. Yeah. I love that. When I, when, I, when I came up with that shit, I was dying laughing. No, it's funny. <laughs> Because um, you just picture it. You know, the way he talks is the way he writes. So it's just right. all No, we got that. No, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying in general. No, I'm just saying in general. It's just funny. You know. uh, no, uh, well, I'm sure you have a dice game to get to after this. So I'm gonna, that joke is for black people. I'm going to give that out a three. <laughs> no, I'm not saying Dominicans. G they do be yeah, no, they Dominicans. Be Dominicans would be crazy. No, Dominicans is dominoes. Yeah, Jamaicans. The, the Dominicans are Domino's, yeah. man. We, they, we fucking love us with Domino's. All right, well, you didn't make the leaderboard, but thank you for okay. coming. Listen, I'll give you a, this is my, I'll give you a hard. I'll give you a hard. We no, it was trash. Two more comedians. That's it. You, one, one more. This is the final comedian of the night. You guys got energy for that? All right. Well, keep that energy going because we got to draw a fucking name. Wait, no, I don't think, was Max on already? Yeah, Max is on. Right? Oh, yeah, he yeah. was. All right. Sorry, we Fuck. have a lot of names in here. I, I, I got you all fluffed up, you know, and I, I didn't yeah, let you come. Damn. Yeah, um, I don't know. Eva, how, how's life? Has he gone up? Oh, we we done? Yes. No, we need one more comedian. We have to find somebody who hasn't gone up yet. So we're like going through the bucket. Oh, uh, what's going on with me? Yeah. What's going on with me? Um. You guys all buy too many tickets, dude. Sorry. Oh, this guy just texted me and said, "I'm in a city." Word? Word. Yeah. Right. I'm like. So how will you respond? I didn't respond yet. Uh, are you thinking? Do you want to hang out with this guy, or are you like? Um, now he's handsome, but okay. I don't have time for nobody. Yeah. I, I yeah, I'm just, I'm just so like, I, I keep your penis over there. I don't want to be bothered. Here we go. Okay. Um, guys, the first name I pulled out of the bucket. Um, give it up for our final comic of the night. Make some noise for Aaron Depke. Yeah. yeah. Previous winner. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm doing good. I'm uh, I'm single right now. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not very good at dating. My usual strategy for avoiding being single is what I call the U.S. Senator, which is where I don't do anything to change it. I just complain about it on Twitter. 
I don't know. It's, I, I, do, I do miss having a boyfriend. Like, I'm moving soon, and it would have been nice to have help with the furniture. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. It's tough. I, I just have a pretty bad track record. Like, like my last boyfriend, I, it was never going to work. Like, he was, like, a very serious dude, and I'm here right now. <laughs> you know? He was so serious. Like, we couldn't even watch movies together because the whole time he would just be like, that would never happen. <laughs> that would never happen. And I was like, fucking, we're watching Paddington 2 right now. What? <laughs> Have a little whimsy, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I was uh, I was like raised really religious, really Irish Catholic, and it kind of like affects my dating life in like weird ways now. For like like for a long time, I was really attracted to guys with like longer hair, a little bit of stubble, right? And then I realized that's just Jesus. Like that's <laughs> that's just God. That's not even daddy issues. That's father, son, and Holy Spirit issues. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't watch those Christian movies because I get all weird during them. <laughs> They're like, we're going to nail him to the cross. I'm like, we're going to nail him? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's, tough, it's a tough way to grow up. Like, I, I see it in my family members, like how like repressed and stuff they are. I was talking to uh, my grandpa about the HBO show The Sopranos, and his take on was... I wish I was Italian so that I could hug my family and we could cook together. <laughs> <laughs> that was his take on The Sopranos. And I said, you know, you can still do that. And he goes, it's too late. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, God. I, uh, I don't know how I'm going to die. <laughs> But I do hope it's on the way home from a date where the guy doesn't pay for an Uber. <laughs> where I'm just like, no, it's fine. I'll take the subway. And the next day he sees like a missing person's head and he's like, oh my God, <laughs> that's how much she weighs? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Aaron Thank you. Guys, Aaron Debke closing us out strong. <laughs> that was funny as shit, dude. Hey, you okay. killed that. Yeah. Dude, oh, remind Eva where you're from. How long have you been doing it? Bloomington, Indiana, three years. Oh, Hell wow. yeah. Okay. What do you okay. think? What do you think, dude? Oh, the Holy Trinity. Oh, the Holy Trinity Jesus shit. Oh, I love it. I love a good. I love a good Jesus joke. I really do. Were you also re like religious upbringing? Yeah, yeah. 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 It sticks with you in weird ways. Right? It does. Yeah. yeah. We both say with the saddest. <laughs> <term. laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't, so I'm perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Dude, the fucking Sopranos joke is so fuck. It does make being a dude seem awesome. Like, yeah, I would literally kill for that friend group. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, dude. Funny shit, really. You you always you've come here before, and you always do a really good job of when you tell a story. You really nail reaction lines. You know what I mean? Like like you, the way that someone's reacting to something. I don't know. How to phrase it probably because it's not something I've heard before. But the way that someone's like reacting to something that is kind of mundane, you always like kill that shit. Oh, thank you. Yeah, dude, funny set. Really enjoy seeing you. Yeah, I'm impressed yeah. that you've only been doing it three years. Yeah, yeah, for real. Thank you. I really appreciate you saying that. Hell yeah. No, I thought it was really good. I thought you were like going way too fast at the beginning, but you slowed it down right at the the daddy issues Jesus joke, which mm -hmm. is more maybe my favorite joke of the night. That shit was really fucking funny. Uh, yeah, I like what you were doing. <laughs> I think uh, overall it was really good. I think the the closer wasn't quite there though. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I think they didn't give it. I laughed. I thought that was really funny. I don't think that they liked it as much as I did. Is what I'll say. Mm. Yeah. But everything else was very. It was very good. I thought it was great. I got to think. Yeah, about I enjoyed sport, you. I'm gonna go eight point five. Eight point five. Yes. Right. Yeah, I, I gave it. What do you think? Eight. 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 Are you fucking sexting this dude right now? <laughs> 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 All right. Wait, uh, are you? <laughs> I'm also gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm also gonna go eight. So hold on. 24, 24. 24.5. So didn't quite make the leaderboard this time, but thank you so much for coming out, Aaron. You're the best. And that's the bucket for tonight. Who's ready for the final round? <laughs> The way this works, everyone who's on the leaderboard is going to come up and do one minute, and then you guys are going to decide who goes home with the money, which will make sense if you know what I'm talking about. Guy whose dick we're going <laughs> to... This is subscribers. Oh, okay. Shout out subscribers. Um... <laughs> Dude, okay. so what, you want to read us on the leaderboard real well, quick? Hold on, we're in like an interesting spot. So we what do we got? In, in 28 with the highest score, we got John Alcobus. And then tied for second place, we got two 25.5s from Shay and Danny Metz. And then 
Uh, you, I mean, that could should that just be the top three then? Uh, that's it. Because that seems like the top three. Would would I? Huh? Well, I don't know because uh, I don't. Ethan got a twenty-four. Yeah, that's the top three. We'll just do the top well, three. We can throw Ethan up for one more. Should we throw Ethan up? What do you guys? What do you guys want? No, that's not the top three. It's not the. No, top three. Because top three. Okay, we're doing top three. Sorry, Ethan. Go fuck yourself. I tried. Um. Who's coming up first, Theo? Uh, up first, we got Danny Metz, then Shay, then John Alchemist. So make some noise right now for Danny Metz. One joke. Yeah. One joke, however long it is. Thank you. So uh, right now, I got a new roommate, and uh, he doesn't have a job. And uh, he thinks by saying he's a straight white male on the application, it's preventing him from being hired at Google uh, with just restaurant experience. So... <laughs> It's so like, he wants to say he's gay on the application, but he's worried about lying. I'm like, you can suck my dick anytime. I need you to get a job, please. All right, thank you. Very nice. All right, keep it going as Shay comes to the stage, everybody. So you guys know I'm, I'm bi, right? But lately, I haven't really been that into pussy. And like... I think that's really disappointing for my parents because they're like super religious and they really wanted me to end up with a man, preferably Jewish. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Shay, everybody. All right, this is the final comedian of the night. We got about $150 on the line. Make some fucking noise for the top of the leaderboard. John Alchemist, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm Jewish, and I got a lot of Holocaust education growing up, but that also just left me with more questions. Like, do you think in Nazi Germany there's anyone who was, like, 16 or 17, and they refused to join Hitler Youth? Right? They, like, just wouldn't do it. And then they get older, and they tell their kids and their grandkids about it as if they were, like, on the right side of history. But, like, the real reason they wouldn't join Hitler Youth was just because that was boring nerd shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, oh, you guys like Hitler? That's cool. I like to fuck, but enjoy your little club. Um, sure, it'll look great on your college application. Also, on the other side of that, how fucking pissed would you be if you did Hitler Youth all four years of high school to make your college app look good, and then your senior year, the war ends? <laughs> and you're just like, well, fuck. Guess I'm going somewhere out of... Guess I'm not going anywhere out of state. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you. All right. John, and John, stay up there. Will the other two please join him on the stage? Hell yeah. Make some noise for your champions over here. All right, you guys know how this works. We got $150 right here. We're going to go from right to left, and you're only going to clap for the person who you want to take home the $150. You understand? You're going to clap as loud as you can for them because this is your guy. You want them to win. Can you make some noise for me to make sure you understand? Yeah. All right. Make some noise if you think John should win. Wait, which one is John? Uh, right here. Left. Oh. Okay. All right. Make some noise if you think Shay should win. Woo! All right. Make some noise if you think Danny should win. Yeah. It's looking like Danny. Congratulations. Congratulations, Danny. Thank you all for coming out. We're here every Monday. Check us out on Patreon and uh, have a good night, everybody. All right, thanks for coming out. Thanks, Eva. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having you. me. Thank you, y'all. Congratulations. Oh, follow me on Instagram, Eva Evans Comedy. Oh, Eva Evans Comedy on Instagram. We'll add that in. We'll add that in. It's not Eva 